Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and welcome to the next section, the second to last section, on how to test Terraform code. So I'm going through Terraform up and running too, and they really start this code talking about fear. And I think that I can relate to that because there are so many times when you need to change, make a change in production or somebody else that maybe you don't know or that you don't trust uh, needs to make a change in production. And you don't know what's going to break. Uh, you don't know how it's going to impact something or how it might affect performance, uh, how it could impact your audit and compliance or your security or your network or any number of things. So the really the best way to try to mitigate that as much as possible is to use tests. Now I've been told that tests are arduous and painful and time consuming. And so I've never written tests and I'm about to find out uh, just how true all of that is, but I believe it. I really do. Um, so, so long as you're using infrastructure as code, there's a much better chance that you're going to mitigate risk if you use tests. So w the goal basically here is just to increase the confidence that whatever changes we make are going to have no or little impact. And by little, I mean there's always a chance. Um, so yeah, so now that we've seen how important infrastructure as code is, we can really start digging into uh, this next section. So what we're going to be doing is, um, and I'm not sure where I'm going to build any of this yet. So I'm going to leave this outside of my production grade Terraform and just keep it locally for now. And I'm just going to call this Terraform tests and I'll make a new file and show you what we're going to do. So the goal is, uh, how to test you should be documenting everything you do by the way I do I document every single thing that I do um, so the first thing we're going to start out with is manual tests and specifically uh, some basics so manual testing basics and some cleanup how to do your cleanup tests the second thing we're going to go over is, uh, since you did it manually, is automated tests. And we'll go over unit tests. Uh, what else are we going to go over? We're going to go over uh, integration tests. We're going to go over end-to-end -end tests. And then we'll finish it off with just some other miscellaneous testing approaches that you can do. If you're not a testing QA developer, the, the goal here is not to make you one. It's just to uh, show you how to test your infrastructure specifically. So this is a little bit different than testing regular um, regular code. And in case you're wondering why I'm always doing these markdown files, um, I use these to kind of keep track of where I'm going and what I'm doing, where I am in the book, what Terraform documentation to look up, etc., and just really get a feel for that. So um, as I go, I just kind of expand on each of these things. And then I push it to Git so I can refer to it later if I have any questions, or if something is outdated, I can go back and update it. So. Because not only is my infrastructure in code, but my documentation is also all in uh, version control system. So I look forward to learning how to do tests with Terraform and TerraTest with you. Um, there's going to be some Ruby programming in here. There's going to be some Go programming in here. Um, I think there's some inspect frameworks and some other things. So there's a lot to learn. And if you've never used any of those tools, don't worry, because I am not a Ruby, Go, Inspect, or TerraTest expert, and that is why I am here. So good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.